Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Is it worth a buy? <laughs> Let's read the words, the words of Ubisoft. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint is a military shooter that features a massive f***ing shop. A massive and visually stunning open world, playable for the first time in solo, <laughs> is it for online and in four-player co-op. Injured, without support and hunted down by ex-ghosts, you can go to the shop and buy f***ing everything to kill the you must fight to survive while lost in Aurora. Choose the right alliances and decide which things you want to buy. Do you want to buy skill points, weapons, magazines? Crap. Choose the right alliances and decide how to take down your toughest enemies ever. Just shoot the guns in the head. Coming up on today's review. Man shot while looking for his contact lenses. Game reminds Mac it's 2019. You're in my personal space. Mac forces a man at gunpoint to dance. It's a bad trousers day. Man with ridiculous beard says something completely pointless. I saw him take their first steps. Magneto found hiding behind a rock. A complete madman guns down an innocent woman. And Mac pilots helicopter while sitting on the fucking rotor blades. Where do we start, guys, with this game? Where do we start? Well, I think the best place to start is with the settings. There's loads of options that you can change, loads of graphical options, uh, loads, of, loads of hood options. You can change all the controls in the game. Pretty much massive amount of settings that you can go through. All I'm going to say is this game has been played on a 2080i9 and a 1070i7, and it was running in 1080p on both machines for editing purposes because I don't like to edit high, bigger files than that because it takes too long to render and it ran pretty much fine uh played it for about 17 hours now uh, i had a couple of frame judders but nothing much really and that's not bad in 17 hours so i'm going to report a pretty well optimized game but that's only in 1080p i haven't tried it in anything else Graphically, the world looks absolutely awesome. It looks fantastic. It's a shame that it looks like it's blown a, a hurricane all the time. Um, but, you know, I, I don't understand that. But the, the actual graphics look fantastic. Uh, and no problems whatsoever. And the sounds is great as well. The thwack when you hit the enemy uh, or get hit yourself. The sound of the guns. No problems at all. Exactly what you'd expect from a game that costs a f***ing hundred quid. Oh, yeah. A hundred pound, guys. That's how much. If you want the full, the full, full with everything, you know, no missions missing, you got to get your wallet out for 100 freaking dollars, euros, or whatever the hell. I liked Ghost Recon Wildlands. I really did. I thought that game was great fun. It, it wasn't a Tom Clancy game. Um, my goodness, no. No. I mean, I when I think of Tom Clancy, I think of Splinter Cell and Rainbow Six and all of them classic games. Um, certainly not the modern day Ghost Recon anyway. Uh, perhaps the older Ghost Recons, yes, but not modern day ones. The modern day ones are just crazy i mean the uh, ghost recon wildlands in single player was trash but in four player co-op or even two player co-op it was a blast it was so much fun the world was great fun there was loads of civilians out there it, it was kind of like a living breathing world and the whole way you track down your objectives and had fun with the cartel recording them having sex and stuff like that with some of the missions taking out rich sons of the cartels and their supercars chasing convoys it was just a fun fun game this Man, I had huge high hopes. I was so kind of looking forward to this game from the beginning of the year. This was always kind of stamped on my calendar because I like Wildlands. So you can imagine my absolute f***ing disappointment at this bug-ridden, lazy excuse for a f***ing game. Because that's what this is. We'll start with the whole changes from Wildlands. They've added what can only be described as a very bad looter shooter kind of rpg classes system uh, to the game uh, not classes um 
levels of the enemy. Everybody has a gear score now, and the loot just comes at you thick and fast in this game. So much so that after the first six or seven hours, I didn't give a fuck what my gear score was, because as long as you shoot them in the head, it doesn't matter. So I was running around with inferior gear, a gear score of about, I don't know, 40, when I could have had way, way higher than that. I just lost the interest to kind of change me weapons every fucking five minutes. I just thought, nah, f*** it. That's not why I want to play this game. And so we just ran around just shooting what the hell we had and uh, just kind of upgrading them a little bit. And we had some great firefights. I mean, me personally, when I like to play these games, I put it on advanced because I find that's the only decent time you can have some good fights and I switch all enemy notifications off there's nothing on me mini map to show where the enemy is there's no tags so I can't see whether they're through a wall in a building I am going in blind because I love them all shit moments I don't know why you wouldn't want want that but that's how I play and I love that and I had some great fights until until guys the first big drone flew overhead now these things are random they just happen around the world. It's a big drone and, and it starts to spot you. Now I was in me map, I was looking at me map and I heard the, the drone. By the time I'd got out of my map through the horrible UI system, the interface, I'd been spotted. Now what happened next can only be described as, as, as laughable but infuriating. A flare is dropped on your face pretty much and enemies spawn right next to you, literally 10 feet away. They are a brilliant shot with their guns and they just run at you from all directions, as well as some tiny drones that come in as well. You are dead in under 10 seconds. You have no idea which direction they're coming from. There's nothing you can do. You're dead. And this happened to me over and over again. So much so that I had to switch back on the tags so that I could see to give myself a chance so I could see which direction they were coming from. Because there was only two of us. This game is designed for four people. And if you were trying to solo this without the tags, or even duo it without the tags, man, these drones are just going to absolutely wreck you. And I just got so sick of it that I had to play the game in a way I didn't want to, just to stop losing f***ing progress. It's also riddled with bugs, absolutely riddled with bugs. I was on me drone and then all of a sudden I got teleported over a kilometre away for no reason. I fell through the world countless times. I've got stuck on terrain countless times. The enemy's been glitching countless times. I, I Honestly, I have lost track of all the f***ing bugs in this game. No one cares anymore with games. It's just been thrown together willy-nilly. No one cares. Just monetize. I'll come to that in a minute. The story's basically, you're on this island and there's it's, it's all about drone warfare. It's all about this tech company's been taken over. I won't spoil it for you. That's if anyone even buys the f***ing game. The tech company's been taken over by a madman who is using, he's weaponized everything, basically. That's all you need to know, and you do shit tons of fetch quests, to and, and froing across the island. Nothing as fun as you did in Wildlands. It's like, look, if you liked Wildlands, you're probably not gonna like this. I can't stand this, but I like Wildlands. It's, it's not like, it's, it is a step down, a step backwards from Wildlands. It's just not as good at all. The story's okay, I guess, but the characters are just cringeworthy and it's, ugh, it's just, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. The AI, let's get onto the AI. The AI, my f***ing oath, the lazy AI in this game is preposterous. We had this quest where we had a, this mission where we had to defend this woman while she hacked into a computer system. And we had a pier and then a big building. And my partner was, was guarding her on the pier and I went to the building just in case they spawned through the building. Well, what do you know? They all spawned in exactly the same spot, just through the window at the far side of this building, and they all ran through the door, and I shot them all in the face. And then another wave spawned in exactly the same place, ran through the door, and I shot them in the face. Then another wave spawned, and you get the idea. Every single firefight in this game, when you're in buildings, you can just go into a room, fortify the room by getting behind a desk, fire a gun that hasn't a silencer on, everybody will hear you, they'll all come running through the door like f***ing idiots and you just kill them all. It's absolutely bullshit. 
And then after you've killed everybody, you go around looting and you might find bits of information and the information might say something like, hey, do you want to know where this M4 gun is? And it's like, oh yeah, where, where is that? And so you, you click on that and then it will show you on the map where that gun is. And it's usually in a fortified base and you'll have to go into the base and kill everybody and then you get your reward of a, of a blueprint which allows you to buy that weapon from the vendor. But everything I've said so far is irrelevant. It's all irrelevant. You don't have to do any of that. No, no, you be soft. In their wisdom, I've thought of everything, guys. You see, the shop in this game sells everything. Everything. This game is monetized to f guys. It was bad enough all the pre-order bullshit that you, that you can get with this game. Oh, you've seen nothing until you get into the online f***ing microtransaction store. Oh, you can buy everything. There is lists of machine guns, assault rifles, sniper rifles, pistols. There's cars, there's vans, there's helicopters, there's assault jeeps. You can even buy skill points, although I've heard they've took that back out the game, but they had, they were even selling the f perks guys the f***ing perks what's the point what's the point of having a game that you have progress when you can just buy all the f***ing progress are you just saying don't even bother playing our f***ing game it's that bad it's that bad the whole point of the f***ing game the whole point the fun the actual actual whole f***ing point of playing this game is to go out into the world fight people and get your reward for killing them so why would you want to just miss all that and just go and buy it from the foot what kind of moron buys this game for a hundred pound goes to the f***ing shop and then buys everything that you do in the game instantly because he's rich or she's rich and then sits there with all the f***ing gear and everything and what do they do after that say no point in playing the f***ing game now I've done everything got everything what the f*** off we live in a mad world we do we live in a mental f***ing world it's sad. It's, I remember Ubisoft, you know, when they made great games, I remember Far Cry 1, how amazing it was. Far Cry 2, do you know, I, Far, when you look at Far Cry 3, the passion and dedication that went into Far Cry 3, look at the world of Far Cry 3. It was alive. It was, it was just brimming with activity. Different kinds of animals all over the place. NPCs at war with each other, factions fighting over territory. Everywhere you went, there was people going about their business. Then you had wildlands after that. It was way, way more dumbed down than, than Far Cry 3. There was hardly any people in it going around. It was a bit empty, but there were still people around. You would still bump into civilian cars and all that. So it wasn't too bad. But when you look at Breakpoint, it's a lifeless, soulless, up place. Everybody you see is an enemy. Whenever you land, there's just enemies everywhere. Every 20 yards down the road, there's two fucking motorbikes and a fucking jeep. It's just a lazy fucking world made by lazy fucking people who all they want to do, all they want to do is just sell you everything they can. It's just a shop. This isn't a game. It's just a shop. That's all it is. That's that's where we are now in 2019. Not only is the f***ing politics of the world f***ed up beyond belief now, but games are ceasing to be games now. They are just big f***ing shops where you can buy everything. Ubisoft, congratulations. You now have the title of the f***ing worst developer and publisher I've ever Scene. This feels awesome. <laughs> like before, before I just felt like a big wimp. You, you know what I mean? My stomach was all acidy and I really just wanted to eat some fish tacos. But now, <laughs> I mean, this feels great. <laughs> like we're going to kick some ass. <laughs> this feels awesome.